Welcome to what are we playing this week, the show where I recommend to you a couple of video games based on certain criteria and how about a few weeks ago I made a promise and I'm gonna keep it. Games about cows, yes games that are all about cows, made entirely of cows or well maybe not entirely of cows, uh, games that have cows in certain prominent positions in such a way that you would identify cows with those games were you to see them. Now I was gonna recommend to you black and white because there's a cow, a giant monster cow that you can train to become a god but that game's not on sale anywhere because no one likes money, you know. So let's get started with Karma Gidda. Now. Carmageddon is a game that has cows in it, uh, a lot of them, uh, I would actually say it has among the most cows you would see in the video games on this list, and you, you run them over with your car or kill them with an electro bastard ray or you, you flatten them mostly, turn them into shish kebabs, steaks, and uh, all sorts of things. Uh, you can do it in uh, a lot of ways. You can do it in standard DOS resolution or in Super HD resolution, for which they, they actually give cows this uh, nice dancing animation, which was very funny and had a very nice melody to it. You can find the new one, Karma Getting Reincarnated, on Steam for the price of 25 euros and uh, the old ones on GOG for oh, around 9 euros if you want the more old school version. Up next is the game that probably has the most cows. It is Diablo 2. Why Diablo 2? Because Diablo 2 has a goddamn cow level, a level, an entire level, the Moo Moo Farm filled with bloodthirsty murderous bovines. It even has a cow king in there that should have been a bowl king but it's um, it's cows without others, so I guess they would be bulls. It's not so much of a king. Well, it would be a cow king because it's the king of cows and it's a bull. That makes sense in some way. You can find Diablo 2. Well, Diablo 2 has a lot more things in it than just cows, but you can find it now on, uh, well, on the official uh, Blizzard uh, store for the price of 10 euros. You can also get the expansion which is another 10 euros but you don't need it to get into the cow level but you do need it to have a bigger stash because you know Blizzard they do that they've been doing that since forever because that's what they do. And if you're tired of just killing cows and why not use them to conquer the world well you can do that in Red Alert 2 because this game allows you to mind control cows and use them as combat instruments mostly by placing dynamite on them and driving them into the enemy base or into an enemy formation of troops and blowing everyone up. Yeah, you still get to kill the cow, but the cow is the instrument of the destruction of the enemy. The, the cow is your tool, it is your Armageddon's bovine. The Holstein Apocalypse. And you can get Red Alert 2 right now. It was for free on Origin, uh, it's not anymore, so you'll have to wait until it's, it goes free again, or you'll have to buy it along with every other Command & Conquer game. There's 70 strategy games in a single bundle that's 30 euros. Which, considering it has every Command & Conquer game, it has Command & Conquer 4 in it as well and um, some may not like Riddler 3 that much, I understand them. So yeah, you do get some thirds with the, with the whole package, but you get cows in there too. And lastly, my final recommendation for games based on cows is World of Warcraft. Though I, I have to preface this, this is more of uh, furries than actual cow. So as you know a cow, an actual cow has something called others which are the things that squirt milk and the cows in World of Warcraft, the Tauren, they don't have that. Instead they just have breasts like they were human or as if someone from Blizzard had the really freaky fetish for cows. Considering how their characters looked and that they had a wolves later on, playable wolves there, 
they they have a bunch of furries there undoubtedly or or their community has a lot of furries that need to be catered to so yeah i i guess i can understand that so in this game you you get to play as a cow basically a giant cow that can be oh just about anything oh yeah they have pandas too so yeah that that's furry to the max you can play as a cow that's a paladin a cow that's a shaman warlock just about and i don't believe they have race restrictions anymore on classes they used to have them a lot of them but it appears not so much right now and you can get the world of warcraft for 20 dollars off their site or you know just about in every store possible and then you'll have to pay oh about 13 euros a month to actually play it for month to month oh no wait Th there's a free trial version yeah they have a free trial version that's limited to level 60 and you can cow around all you want you can move around azeroth to your heart's content and if you know any other games about cows let me know in the comments because this is where the show ends this has been the water playing this week number 42 cow games edition see you next time with more gaming recommendations Ones that will not have cows in them, but maybe dogs? Thank you for watching this show. If you enjoyed it, please consider watching some of our other videos and maybe sharing them or giving a thumbs up if you feel like it. And if you really, really liked what you saw, please check out our Patreon page. For just $1 a month, you could help us make much better shows and get some rewards in the process. Or you could consider buying my book called Tale of Doom. Volume 1 is out now and available for just two dollars and as always if you thought it was horrible you know where to find me and complain about it